Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. So today, today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I've had one of you guys, that's right, one of my subscribers actually send me a rub that he wanted me to check out. And so that's what we're gonna do today. This one is gonna be Uncle Tom's All-Purpose Seasoning and Barbecue Meat Rub. That's right, we're gonna try this out today right here on the Dog Father's Barbecue YouTube channel. All right guys, so that's right. Today we're gonna be checking out a new to me barbecue rub. And uh, what better to try out something new on than on a good old fashioned pork steak. So today we're gonna do pork steak and we're gonna put it on the pit barrel cooker. That's right, the pit barrel cooker today. It's got a nice good flavor, that pit barbecue flavor from the fat dripping in the coals. So we're gonna do that with some uh, pork steaks. So let's get into it. All right guys, so we got our pork steaks here. And uh, if you're not familiar with pork steaks, basically this is a Boston butt that I had cut at my grocery store about an inch and a quarter thick. And so that is what we're using for our pork steaks. You can actually see the uh, bone right here from the uh, pork butt. But that's pork steaks guys, so that's what we're gonna do today. So, let's go ahead and get this seasoned up. So how are we gonna do this? Well, I'm gonna put a binder on it today, and today I'm gonna be using Texas Pete's hot sauce. So, we're gonna just put a little bit of sauce. Yeah, I know, you can use whatever you wanna use, but I wanna use some hot sauce today. I, you know, I kinda like the heat, so we're gonna kick it up a little bit with a little bit of hot sauce there for our binder. Again, feel free to use whatever you wanna use, canola oil, olive oil, grapeseed oil, uh, you know, whatever, guys, whatever. All right, so we're gonna keep it simple today. And we're just gonna put, I just got in here, just it's one of my shakers, and I just literally have salt and pepper in here. So we're just gonna put some salt and pepper on. And then we're gonna come with this uh, Uncle Tom's all-purpose seasoning and meat rub. So looks like it's gonna have a great texture. All right, so let's flip this over, repeat the process. Make sure we get the sides. All right, so there we have it. So we've got our pork steaks all seasoned up here, guys, and uh, we're ready to get these things put onto our uh, cooker today. So I'm gonna take you over to the cooker. We're gonna get this thing fired up. All right, guys, so in order for us to get our charcoal basket set up, um, I pulled it out of my pit barrel cooker. It's got a little uh, flash pan right here that this connects to. It's got three legs on the bottom that slide right into the uh, little catchers here. So we're gonna go ahead and get this thing set up. Did you wanna take, take your charcoal and fill up the basket? Okay, so now that we got our charcoal basket full, we're gonna slide it to the side a little here and we're gonna get our uh, little charcoal chimney here. This is the charcoal chimney you can order that's a uh, half size, perfect for putting in and out of the pit barrel cooker. And all we're gonna do is take some of your briquettes out of your charcoal basket and fill up this uh, charcoal chimney. Just like that. I've got some hickory wood that we're gonna be cooking with today that I'm gonna place in my basket. And we're just gonna take this, it's gonna go back in our pit barrel cooker. So let's put this back in the cooker. All right guys, so now that we got our uh, charcoal basket in our pit barrel cooker, we're ready to get this charcoal chimney lit. And so what we're gonna do, is we're gonna use a tumbleweed. You can buy these really cheap at the uh, grocery store or you can use newspaper or you know whatever you wanna use to light it with, but I use tumbleweeds. So we got our tumbleweed here and we're just gonna light the tumbleweed. And then we'll place our charcoal basket or our charcoal chimney right on top of it and we'll let this go. Now what you're gonna look for is you're gonna let this charcoal come up to fire. It's gonna get glowing red coming up the sides or whatever here. When you look at your charcoal, you want it to be kind of ashed over, but it doesn't have to be completely ashed over all the way to the top, but at least three quarters of the way through, you're gonna be ready to go ahead and dump it into our pit barrel cooker. So we're gonna go ahead and let this uh, charcoal come up and uh, we'll get it uh, put in our PVC and we get this cook going. All right guys, so as you can see, we got our flames coming up through the top of our charcoal chimney. The charcoal is kind of starting white at the top. It's uh, definitely white underneath. So we're gonna go ahead and dump this into our uh, pit barrel cooker. So let's do it right now. All 
All right guys, so today we're gonna actually use the rack. I'm not gonna hang these, I'm just gonna cook them on the rack. So we're just gonna place them in here like so. Kind of form them up the way that we want them to cook. We'll get our rebar put back in here. Get our top back on it. And we'll let this go for about an hour. All right guys, we've been going here for about an hour and a half now, so we're gonna do our first check. And you can see these are coming along pretty good. So we're gonna go ahead and get them flipped over. See pretty good color starting to develop there. So we just got them flipped. We'll get our uh, vent rebar put back in. We'll pop the lid on and we'll come back here in about another hour. All right, gang, so we got our pork steaks on our uh, pit barrel cooker over there, smoking away, getting that good pit fire flavor to it. And I'm gonna show you right now what we're actually gonna use to kind of mop these pork steaks as they go through the cooking process. So it's a very simple recipe, and uh, I think you'll like it. So let's get that put together right now. All right, so what I've got here is just a regular squeeze bottle, and uh, I cut the top off of it here so it makes it easier to squeeze uh, the contents out of it. And all we're gonna do is we're gonna take this bottle. You can take whatever barbecue sauce you guys have. It doesn't matter, your favorite barbecue sauce. We're just gonna pour some into our jar here. Kinda see how much I have in there. And basically we're gonna match it with apple cider vinegar. So it's basically a one-to-one -one ratio of uh, barbecue sauce and apple cider vinegar. Uh, if you want to add stuff to it, you can. I'm just going to keep it very simple with this. But you can add, you know, hot sauce or your rub or whatever else you want to add to it. That's all I'm going to put in here today. We're going to put the top back on it. All right, guys, so just like that, we've got a nice little mop sauce that we can use on these uh, pork sticks that we got on our pit barrel cooker. Uh, we'll apply that here in a little bit, um, and it'll just glaze over onto these pork steaks and they give it a nice little crust and a good flavor so I'll bring you back in a little while when we get ready to put this on. Alright guys it's been about 30 minutes since our last check so let's take a look here. Alright you can see we've got a good color developing here. Uh, I know you guys are probably going to ask so let's go ahead and take a temp check and see where we're at. Right now we're at about 150 degrees and about 170 to 165 degrees on the smaller one. So we're gonna go ahead and get our glaze put on. And I'm just gonna squeeze this right directly on it. We're gonna be pretty liberal with it. Just like that, and we're gonna let it keep going. All right guys, so we just got our pork steaks checked here. Uh, we're running about 165 degrees average. Uh, we went ahead and put our uh, glaze on. And so now we just got it smoking away in there. So what we're going to do is we're going to let this uh, this uh, mop sauce here glaze over on these pork steaks probably for the next 15 minutes or so. And we'll come back, we'll get them flipped over, and we'll glaze over the, the uh, other side. And then we'll assess what we're going to do from that point. Sometimes I, I cook these completely uh, on the grill the way it is without wrapping it. Sometimes I wrap it. So we'll take a look at it here uh, once we get to the next uh, step and we'll decide what we're going to do, all right? So uh, see you guys in a little bit. All right, guys, it's been about 15 minutes since we glazed them. And they are turning out to be pretty tender so far. But we still got a ways to go. So the color is looking pretty good on the edges. I think we're running at a good temperature. So we're going to go ahead and get these glazed. All right, so we'll let these keep going here for a little while, probably another uh, 15, 20 minutes. And then uh, I think we're probably gonna go ahead and wrap these in aluminum foil to really break them down and get them really super tender. So we'll get the top back on and I'll bring you back then. All right, gang, so it's been another 15 minutes since we got these uh, pork steaks flipped and glazed on the uh, opposite side. And now we're gonna go ahead and take these. We're gonna actually put these in aluminum foil. We're gonna wrap them up so that they get nice and tender, so. All right, so here we have our aluminum foil. We're gonna take our pork stick and we're gonna put it on the shiny side of our foil, guys. And we're gonna wrap this guy up. It 
just like this. And we'll return it to the grill and I'll get the other one wrapped up. All right, so now we got these guys wrapped up and we'll get this grill closed back up. Get our rebar vent back in, get our top on. All right, so guys, just like that, we got these pork steaks wrapped up in our aluminum foil. Now comes the tenderizing part. Kind of told you before in other videos, if you followed my channel, I cooked the color at the first part of my cooks and then I cooked the tenderness. So now comes the tenderness part. We're gonna let these pork steaks uh, kind of cook away in this aluminum foil. We're gonna let that connective tissue break down to get these pork steaks nice and tender. So um, we'll come back and check these here probably in about another 30 to 45 minutes and I'll bring you guys back then. All right guys, it's time for us to check our tenderness. We've had this going in the foil now for about, uh, about 20 minutes or so. And so all we're gonna do is we're gonna take our uh, thermopin, our temperature probe, and we're just gonna probe the meat, just like we do any other barbecue that we do, just to check for the tenderness of the meat. And this is really tender, guys. It's very tender right now. We're actually reading a 205 degrees on this pork steak. So these are definitely ready to come off. So we're gonna pull these off and let them rest. All right, we'll let these rest and I'll bring it back in a little bit. We'll cut them open. All right, so here we have our uh, pork steak and this pork steak is really tender. It's looking really good. It's got good color on it. So just as a reminder, guys, this is the seasoning that we're using today. It's Uncle Tom's. It's a uh, all purpose uh, seasoning and barbecue meat rub. And so, uh, man, I'm excited about giving this a taste. So let's say we cut into this. You can just see just how tender that is. Hopefully you guys can pick up that. It's got a nice little ring on it. So we're gonna cut a little bit here. And let's see what we think about this Uncle Tom's meat rub. Okay, first off, I've gotta say, we rendered the fat down in this pork steak excellently. I mean, it's, it's, it's so good. It's like meat candy. The uh, Uncle Tom's rub, it's very good. It's a very well balanced rub. Um, it's got great texture on this pork steak as well. And uh, man, I would, I'm gonna say I'm gonna have to play around with this rub some more. This is the first time I've ever used it, so I'm definitely gonna play around with it and use it on some more products. And uh, I'll, I'll get the information and make sure I put it down in the description box below. And guys, as I always tell you on my videos, if you like the barbecue content that you see on this channel, be sure to check out these little links that I have right here. And uh, until next time, I'll see you in the next video. Dogfather's out. Peace.